So I led paper two of the series and essentially we took the framework that the first paper of the series developed, which was a framework for quality maternal and newborn care. We looked at the interventions that midwives and midwifery care can deliver and we used an analysis called the LIST tool. So LIST is the Lives Saved tool. That's a pretty commonly used tool in this field, although not, not in this particular way before. We took 78 countries, the 78 poorest countries in the world, and broke them into three groups related to their Human Development Index, which is a measure of um, a country's status. So we had 26 countries in the lowest Human Development Index, 26 in the middle range, and 26 in the higher range. And then we modelled what an increased coverage of those interventions would be in those three different groups of countries and showed that even a modest increase, so only 10% every five years out to 2025, makes a significant difference to lives saved. And the lives are the mother's lives, the baby's lives, um, neonatal deaths and stillbirths. So as the, increased, as the coverage increased, so did the number of deaths decreased. So that was very reassuring that midwifery care particularly the interventions delivered by midwives, makes a huge difference to changing uh, a country and, and saving women's lives.